Hi, I'm Andy. I'm the Chief Agronomist at the Sentosa Golf Club in Singapore. Subair system's really pretty, pretty simple. If this was the shape of a putting green, we would drain it very similar to the way we drain a bunker. There's a main line that runs up the, the center of the green. You have a series of lateral lines that run through the floor of the green. The subair system is then connected to a vault off of the edge of the green with a huge vacuum inside that vault. When the subair system's turned on, it creates a vacuum system inside this green well through this herringbone drainage system and pulls the water out of the green in this direction. In a cross section, if this was the cross section of the green, the green is basically one foot of greens mix, and greens mix is usually sand and poor ceramic materials, a four inch gravel layer, and this would be where the herringbone drainage system exists. Now it creates a vacuum in that gravel layer that pulls the moisture through the sand and then out through the drainage system. So as it rains, it goes through the sand, into the gravel layer, the vacuum system pulls it out the pipe. The subair system is a complex system in it and it has many tools. We talked a little bit out on the golf course about how we have sensors in the greens. And this is an example of what one sensor looks like. These sensors give us some really good data. And, and that data comes back through uh, a web service that we can pull up from anywhere in the world. And it's showing us the temperature and the moisture level, as well as the salinity of the golf course. And, and it gives us a great indicator of how the greens are feeling right now. It also gives us a tool and, and lets us know when we're gonna hit those, those milestone marks that where we might run into trouble. It's a tool that gives us an advantage. It gives us an advantage over all the elements that Mother Nature throws at us.